as you become more familiar with Vectorworks Spotlight and you begin working on ever more complicated objects, uh, you can use all the cues that Vectorworks has available for you to help you identify those objects. We're talking about the cursor and snapping. We've been talking about that in previous lessons. What I'm talking about today is the smart cursor cues. So hovering over this object, we see uh, a little text tab to the right, um, referring to the, the point at which the cursor is on. And for objects like this, if we might be looking for the midpoint, for example, not only does our smart cursor snap to that midpoint, but we also have that little cue from Vectorworks that we are actually snapping to the midpoint itself. If you're not seeing these smart cursor cues, it's actually relatively easy to get to these cues. One way is to double click into the snapping palette, although um, I'm, I'm now advising against that because uh, when you go back to your drawing area, your snap settings may be different. So by double clicking, you're actually activating or deactivating one of these snapping controls. So if we go up to tools in the menu bar, tools, and then we go to smart cursor settings, you also see the keyboard shortcut here uh, to the right hand side. But if we click on that, we're going to get a category of different settings for our smart cursor. The one we're most interested in is in the general settings and it's right here, right at the top. It is show smart cursor cues. Now, if you don't want those smart cursor cues and this box is checked, that's your opportunity to deselect it. Um, so I'll show you what that shows. I mean, obviously I already had the cues on, um, but the cues will no longer show for that midpoint. Um, it does show for a couple of the other points on the object, but we're not no longer getting the more granular um, cues on some of those smart points. So there's the difference. If you want those on, you know where to do that now. Again, tools and then smart cursor settings. And in the general category, we're gonna go ahead and turn on uh, show smart cursor cues. I actually like that as part of my workflow. It just helps to confirm when I have found the midpoint of a particular object. Um, I do use that in drafting well here in Vectorworks Spotlight. So enjoy that little tip and uh, hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much. If you find this content valuable, please consider liking and subscribing or following us down below.